Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to the next video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And in this video I will talk about I will talk about another trait of the remnants. Remnants are out of the old new wineskins. Brothers and sisters, in the other video of today, we have learned that you have to be set apart. But that is not all. A remnant warrior will also give away and empty himself from all the old ways, from everything that was there in the past. He will lay it aside for the purpose to serve the kingdom. He will come out of the old ways, empty himself completely, so that he can become a new wineskin. Because only new wine, wine, new wine can only be filled into new wineskins, because the old one would burst. They could not hold the new revelation because it's always on a new level. The next level is a level of the holy place, a level of serving the kingdom. As Jesus has served the Father, now we as true sons and daughters will serve the Father, the Most High. We will step forward to be the forerunners, the, the preparer of the way for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to become King of Kings and Lord of Lords here on earth, to remove all the impostors from their thrones, Antichrist and his ten kings first, and then Satan later. Let them all be removed so that our King, the King of Heaven, will take possession of his creation again. That he will become the king over the millennium kingdom. Empty yourself. Give up all the old things. Clean yourself. Make yourself a perfect vessel. In the same way as a priest of old, before they entered the tabernacle, the temple, the holy place, before they entered there, they had to clean themselves. He at Triple Grace, you were trained for that purpose. And you can still see it in the playlist, the training of the royal priests. Get an understanding what you're going to do. You will walk as a remnant army of the kingdom of heaven, as kings and priests here on earth bringing in the harvest of the ages, guiding the people to Mount Zion in the spirit of Moses, letting them make, make a decision for them, like Elijah on Mount Carmel, who called them, now you have to stand with the kingdom, come out of the world. That spirit is already greatly at work right now. The spirit of David, kingship, the spirit of Solomon, standing against an imposter and still regaining gaining the, 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 the throne as co heirs with Jesus Christ. Empty yourself, brothers and sisters. Do not walk anymore in church doctrine. Do not walk anymore under false gospels. Do not walk anymore under false assumption. Do not walk anymore in religious spirits. Empty yourself so that you can become a new wineskin. That the Lord will come and fill you with that new wine that you need and that is required for this new level, the new intimate relationship with the Father that Jesus had already in his ministry in the first coming. Now it's our turn. As a body of Christ, and he is our head, we will put on the helmet of salvation, take the sword of the Spirit in our hands, and we will charge the enemy for the kingdom of heaven. Because the kingdom of heaven will prevail and not the enemy side. We will stand against the Antichrist and we will always proclaim that the kingdom of God has come. And Jesus will follow very soon. Jesus is our Lord and Savior and nobody else. We have one true Father, God Almighty in heaven. And he will cover and protect us in our missions, wherever he will send us. We will be obedient. It is all about obedience, brothers and sisters. 
The Lord does not want sacrifice, He wants obedience. So empty yourself in obedience to the Lord, to His call to the nation. He is calling out now the harvest workers. The harvest of the harvest workers is on until the door is closed. Because the door will close at the day when the Lord will take us into the cloud to transform us, to be His forerunners, and then we will come back and fulfill our mission, destiny, and purpose here on earth. But to be there, to be filled, to be transformed into a new creation, you need to empty yourself of the old. I'm not saying that the old was not important. Of course it was. The churches were so important to bring us to spiritual maturity. But it still remains the outer court. And now you are called as a remnant, as a priesthood, as a, the kings on earth, receiving the first dominion into the temple now into the holy place and then at Mount Zion you are called into the holy of holies to stand before the throne of God in the rapture into paradise you are called forth now this is an action a movement stand up from your church bent. step forward come out now serve the kingdom serve the father he has blessed you with so much and you keep it for yourself why are you keeping it for yourself instead to bring it in for the kingdom what about all the lost sheep that are waiting for you, for your words of love, of mercy and compassion? Where are you people? You keep it for yourself. You sit in your luxury houses and luxury apartments. You're sitting in your poshest cars. You have everything. But when you come out of your door, you do not see the beggar that is sitting next to it. Where are you? Where is your stand for the kingdom? You come forth with great words, but your action are zero. You do nothing for the kingdom. Step out now. Show forth love, mercy and compassion, the traits of the kingdom of heaven. Become an ambassador that was sent to declare how the kingdom is like exactly as Jesus has done in his ministry. He always said in parables, this is the kingdom and the kingdom is like this and that. Why are you not doing it? You are cowering in your churches, hiding. You are afraid to step out of the church door. But you willingly step with both legs into the world to embrace all the luxuries and every fun and beautiful and everything that you can gain there with the blessings that the Father has given you. But you cannot use part of this blessing for his kingdom. Pray over it. Let the Holy Spirit convict you right now for your blasphemies. Let the Holy Spirit convict you right now for all, what, all your trespasses. Let the Spirit convict you right now for everything what you have not done for the kingdom. You need to empty yourself. Don't follow blind leaders. If the blind will lead the blind, they will all end up in the ditch. And you do not want to go into the ditch or the pit or the lake of fire. But you want to stand on the top of Mount Zion, in front of the throne of God. Separate yourself from the old ways. Come out of the world. I implore you, come out of the world, out of Babylon and out of the churches. Their time is over. They have fulfilled their purpose. Now you need to be raised up to the new level. But to do that, you need to separate yourself and empty yourself to become a new wineskin so that the Lord can take you into the cloud and can fill you with new wine so that you can become kings and priests because the kingdom of heaven has come. Heaven is merging over the earth. Sin is getting to be pushed out. The armies are standing against one another. The end time battle will take place. The battle that started in Genesis 3, verse 15, the seed wars, will come to a culmination now. 
And you, you are still sitting there at your sporting events, enjoying yourself in cinemas, go clubbing, drinking, smoking, every nice things that you have. Some of you have two or three cars standing in their driveways. But as soon as you see somebody who is in need, you cross over to the other side because you do not want to meet him. Has God blessed you with everything that you have for such a behavior? Why are you doing it? Why are you putting shame to the kingdom? Step out now. You're called as a remnant. You're called as a warrior in the remnant army of kings and priests. You need to separate yourself. You need to, to come out of the old ways. Every day I see you. Every day I hear you saying, no, no, no. And still the Father is coming back to you with love, with mercy, long suffering, and works on you and say, open your heart, say yes, not no, say yes, walk through that open door, come and join, come now, I'm calling you, I'm calling you into my temple, I'm calling you into your purpose and destiny. Every time he comes before you in love and you say no, 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 when you should say yes, my Lord. Yes, my father. Yes, my beloved. That's it, what you should do. But you reject the kingdom. You're following worldly leaders. You're following the ones that are tingling your ears. You're not willing to share your resources. You're not willing to embrace the former reign. You're, you never understood what the book of Acts is all about. That was a time when a remnant was there. 120 faithful servants had received a transformation. These people were ready, they were full on fire, and they went out. And wherever they came and introduced the kingdom of heaven, new assemblies, new holy places were created. And these places were also, these people were also on fire. And they shared their resources and had everything in one accord and all in common. They understood exactly what is required for such a time as this. They understood that they had to come together, otherwise they would be taken down by their Antichrist of their time, Nero, the Romans. Now we are standing at a similar time when we a new Antichrist will rise and he will also come against us. So we have to embrace the spirit of the book of Acts. But you say no. I don't want to share anything because I have made it, but in reality, everything what you have received are the blessings of the Father. But you are not willing to share your resources, you are not even willing to share your access that you have for kingdom purposes. You are not willing to step forward, you are not willing to give up your old ways. Many people have come to me and have said, oh, I have separated myself from the world. Then I just told them one thing, tell me, what are you doing the whole next week? And then when they told me all this, I thought 99% was all worldly activities and they were lying to themselves and they were lying in the face of the Father by saying, I have separated myself from the world. Because they were fully in the world, not only with one leg, but with both. Nothing had changed. They deceived themselves. They were full of self-righteousness, full of complacency. They never stepped out. So when I told them, okay, if you say you are out of the world, then come and join. Then they said, no, I cannot join. Because at your place I have to share my resources. I do not want to do that. Everything that the Father will give me is for free. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, what are they talking about? Everything what they have received was my blessing. And now they are not willing to share it with my kingdom. They are walking a path of darkness. That's what I heard. And that's the truth. They are walking a path of darkness. Getting more and more greedy, greedy, lustful, everything. They get more and more for themselves. But they are not willing to share anything with the creation of the Father. Only for themselves. They have never embraced the former reign. But they want 
to walk in the latter rain. They're sitting in their church. They're listening to a pastor telling them, very soon now we will be raptured into the third heaven. And then the Father in heaven is sitting there and laughing and saying, you will come to my place. You will stand in the holy of holies when you're not even able to enter the temple. He's laughing about you, church. The Father is laughing about you. But on the other hand, he is also a very merciful and long-suffering. And we will always come back to you and open another door for you and say, please come forth. There is still time. He will show you his love and his mercy every day. But you are not seeing it because you are blinded. Blinded with everything what you have received from the world. You are following the principalities of the air. That has shown you the riches of this world and your beautiful lifestyle. Of course the Lord has never told you that you should live in poverty. That's another lie of the enemy. For the ones who do not want to have the properties, the enemy comes and says you have to live in poverty. That's also a lie. The Lord has always blessed his people. And they always had resources to go by. Nobody has to live in the trailer park. Nobody has to, to, to be like a monk somewhere. That's their own choice. But it's not the requirement for walking as a remnant. But if the Lord is blessing you and you are not returning anything for the kingdom, and I'm not talking here about worldly charities, that's another thing Satan has invented to remove your resources from the kingdom. I'm not talking about worldly charities. I'm talking about kingdom work. I'm talking about being set apart for your destiny within Christ Jesus. Empty yourself. New wine can only be placed in new wineskins. Come out of the old ways. Do not deceive yourself by saying, oh yes, I'm already set apart, I'm not part of the world. When you 80 to 90 percent every week doing all the things for the world, but nothing for the kingdom. And this last 10 percent is when you sit in the church bench saying, oh, I'm holy. You are very far away from being allowed to enter the temple. You are very far away from being a clean priest. You're very far away from receiving the first dominion and walk as kings and priests in this earth. But you can give this everything what you have up in one minute. You can lay it down at the feet of the Lord and say, use my resources for the kingdom. You can come out of the world, cut your ties in one minute. Take it to the Lord. Step out, empty yourself then the Lord will fill you with something new. You will receive downloads, you will receive prophecies, you will receive messages, you will be in contact with the Father. Walk on holy ground, remove your shoes and sandals and walk on holy ground to be a true son and daughter of the Most High. Remnants are out of the old ways and not only by talking but fully, fully committed to the kingdom of heaven. If you are not that, change. Change is required. And don't believe that it will go back to the old ways, where the churches are your main focus. Now the focus is on the kingdom because the kingdom has come. And the focus is on removing the imposter from the throne of the earth so that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can sit there as the Lord of Lords and King of Kings in the Millennium Kingdom. And you are called to be the foreigners. You are called to prepare that way. You are called to dress rehearse the kingdom and to bring in the harvest of the ages as new wineskin, filled with new wine, transformed into the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for his second coming. Don't seek the rapture into the third heaven if you have not even come out of the world, Babylon or the churches. Don't seek that rapture. You will not receive it. Seek the kingdom first. 
with everything what you have. And that, unfortunately, brothers and sisters, you can turn around and you can shout and you can say no as long as you want. That includes your finances also. If you're not willing to share your finances with the kingdom, then why should the Father continue to bless you? And if you have the audacity to say now, that you do everything by yourself, then you are not even worthy to be called a Christian. Everything what you receive are the blessings of the Father. Because He is your Father and He is guiding your steps. And therefore you are blessed. Therefore you have resources. Therefore you have a good life. But now the Lord says, now it's time for you to step out and to serve me as a true son or true daughter. So empty yourself. Do not be one of these people who make the kingdom ashamed, calling themselves Christians. But in reality, they are wolves in sheep's clothing. Worldly, worldly, worldly. When they enter the church, they look for beautiful women. What? When they come out of the church, they start to gossip about fellow Christians. What is wrong with you people? You seek positions in the church to elevate yourself about others when the Lord has said we are all equal. We are all children of the Most High. Empty yourself. Come out of this. You are talking about repentance of your sins, but you are sinning every day. So you try to invent something that you can sin without any problems, that you are once saved, always saved, and that the Lord will take you in because of that, and no matter what you do. But that is not the case. Even the greatest, the greatest sinner who were used in the scriptures repented for it. David repented for what he has done with, with that lady that he took from the man and killed the man. He repented. Moses repented. How many years had he to wait until he was ready to be a vessel? But you are not repenting. Only by words. Your mouth is moving but nothing is coming out. But everything is going in. I'm sorry to bring it harsh to you, but this is the reality. When I call you into the spirit of the former rain, you are laughing at me. When I'm telling you the messages from the Lord, you say, this man, it's crazy. If I'm crazy, then let me be crazy for the kingdom of God. Let me stand here and call you out right now. I'm standing here in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to tell you that you need to empty yourself. Otherwise, you will not be called a remnant, and otherwise you will not be transformed into the image of the Lord. You will not be taken to the clouds. When you wake up, you need to focus on the kingdom. Wherever you go, have the kingdom mind in your head, in your soul, and in your heart. When you see something that must raise your compassion, then you need to act. You need to stand together, you need to support one another, and you need to share your resources. If not, then you are not part of the kingdom of God, and you are not worthy to be a remnant of the kingdom of heaven. And especially not worthy to be a priest to enter and serve the Father in the holy places. You know it better than the others. We are going out for a harvest for the lost sheep. Some of them may not have even heard the name of Jesus. But you know. You know everything. You know the scripture. You are spiritually matured and you are still acting against the kingdom. If you are acting against the kingdom after you have known all the truths, then you are wicked. 
That does not mean you cannot fall and have sins here and there, small ones. Of course, we are all falling. Nobody is perfect. But you are replacing the kingdom with a worldly church. You are replacing the, the, the love of the father with a preacher on stage. You are you have overwritten the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ by placing words of Peter and Paul higher than the words of the Lord. What are you doing, brothers and sisters? What are you doing? Since when is the the the, the servant higher than the master? I hear people making teachings online who saying that Paul said this and that's the reason why it's higher than what Jesus said. What are you talking about? The people have zero understanding and then I see 500 likes, 600 likes. What are they talking about? That is what I call tingling of the ears. Because that teaching is fitting better in your worldly views and in your worldly action than what Jesus has done. Because Jesus was standing for the kingdom and for the kingdom only. And he was acting as a true son of the, of the father and not as the son of a pastor, a preacher or a prophet who have called themselves these names, not ordained by the kingdom of heaven. Step out, empty yourself, become a new wineskin, leave the old. The kingdom is waiting for you. Let us all gather together as a remnant army of kings and priests to serve the kingdom, to be transformed in the images of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to walk ahead of him, to prepare his way. As John the Baptist was in the image of Jesus, a lesser one of course, but he prepared the way for him, then Jesus took over. Now for us the same, we will bring in the harvest, the fullness of the Gentiles, the fullness of the harvest. Then Jesus will come Mount Zion down onto the earth and he, we will go into the rapture, into paradise. And at that time, Jesus will take over and then the great tribulation, the trumpet tribulation will start. And it's all about the Jews at that time, Jerusalem. Because there the temple will be built at that time and not before. And that will be the millennial temple in which Satan will sit. And he will be thrown out because he's an imposter. And then Jesus will take his rightful throne here on earth in that temple. And the millennium kingdom will start. But you do not have any understanding about this. You make it up the way you want it. You make your own things so that you can remain in the world. Because you do not want to give up your sporting events. You do not want to give up your friends, your parties, your whatever you do on the weekends. And you do not want to give up your jobs. You're seeking careers in the world to gain more fortune. But then you will die. And you can take nothing with you. And when you have hoped that you will see the kingdom, then you will be gravely mistaken if you follow the worldly ways. Come out now. I can feel that you are called to be a remnant. Step forward now. Empty yourself. Brothers and sisters, I hope this helped you on your way. And I hope that it, it put a small mirror in front of you so that you can see yourself. Do not be deceived. Do not, do not deceive yourself. Do not claim that you are out of the world if you are not. Have a look at yourself. Then empty yourself. Leave all the doubts behind. Put in your soul childlike face towards the Father, towards the Kingdom. Then step forward in the power and the glory of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, I love you all so dearly. I hope this helped. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.